everyone welcome back to another pick a card reading here on my youtube channel into the light thank you so much for being here today and clicking on this video so today's reading is going to be about will they contact you so your person in mind will they contact you so just think of your person visualize them and let your intuition guide you to one of these piles or crystals of choice so we have the moonstone for pile one the selenite for pile two, and the rose quartz for pile three. So think about your person and think about the question, will they contact me? And you can find your timestamps in the description box or the comments down below. All right, so without further ado, let's get started with your reading. All right, so if you have chosen the moonstone, so group one, you found your way to your reading. So will they contact you? Let's figure it out. So we have the Knight of Wands, okay, we have the Devil, we have the Three of Swords, and we have the Four of Cups. I think this might get in the way here. Okay, then for your Gypsy Oracle, we have the Letter, we have Hope, we have Melancholy, and we have Death. Okay. So I'm getting like your person in mind is somebody that's very like flighty, like they're very in and out. They don't really know what they want yet. They don't really like one day they show you how much they care about you and how much they want you in your, your their life. And then the next day they like don't text you back or they're just being really like shady or you just don't know what's going on. This person still is going through their own sort of heartbreak, but heartbreak not in like an emotional way, like when you're like crying and really sad and upset about something, but he, like they are... um still angry about something still angry about something that happened in the past so they're living out that anger you know what i mean so it's like you know you want to fulfill well sorry a car horn just went off like an alarm but you know when you really want to fulfill something doesn't get fulfilled and this person because they didn't have that fulfillment it's like they're looking from for it in other people in other situations so it's not in a healthy way so it's like they're trying to like they're still going through this heartbreak that has happened to them really long ago like trauma you know they're still healing right so they're not very able to make conscious decisions about like what is right for them what to choose they're always doubting they're always withdrawing in relationships they're always you know to themselves not sure about what to do what they want because they are honestly living in their past right so although this person they definitely have thought about contacting you they've thought about like Maybe there could be something solved with this situation, but it's like there's just been too much hurt and they don't want to like really look back and go back because they're still upset. They're still sad. They feel like this is over. They feel like they messed up and now it's like they're left with these things that, you know, don't fulfill them that much, aren't really aligned with them. But, you know, they feel like they're stuck here because they messed up with something they could have had. So I don't see that this person will be contacting you. Okay, so thank you so much for clicking on this reading. I know it was a really quick one today, but a really quick question here. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. All right, so those of you who have chosen the Selenite Crystal, you found your way to your reading. So will they contact you? Let's figure it out. So we have the Fool. We have the Queen of Swords, we have the Star card, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have Sorrow, we have Reunion in Reverse, we have House, and also Surprise. Okay, so will they contact you? <clears throat> I feel like you're both really tired of the back and forth. You're over it. You're done. You don't want to deal with this anymore. And it's like, 
you let me go or you try to fix things with me. You know, there's a lot of back and forth here. But I'm getting that your person in mind, it's like they kind of want to take like a risk. They want to take a chance with you in this connection. But they also do know that either that it's taken them too long, they know that they've messed up and they don't know how to apologize, or they just know that you're just not down with the BS and you could cut them off. Like you can use your sharp words and you know, get upset at them and they don't want that, you know? So it's like they know that you are upset. They know that, you know, you could possibly still be upset about something, even if you're not. Like, honestly, I'm getting that you guys really aren't. You're just like minding your business, doing your own thing. Again, obviously, you're like, you're fed up with the in and out and, you know, not knowing what's going to happen. But it's like, you're not upset at them, but that's how they kind of feel here, right? But they do see that you have been, you know, focusing on other things, right? They do see that you have been, you know, upgrading yourself, especially with the star card here. This is like somebody that, you know, has a chance to, you know, heal something or go a different way. And it's like they get this inspiration, they get this hope for this renewal to start something new. And you see like with the Knight of Pentacles, this is also kind of showing me too that you've been elevating, right? With your finances, with your overall well-being. So this person has been thinking about you. They have been thinking about contacting you. But again, they're just afraid of how you'll feel and they're afraid of if you'll even allow them to actually have a like conversation with you. Again, with seeing sorrow here, it's like they're still upset over something that happened in the past. They do want to like come towards you, but like the reunion in the verse reverse, it's like they don't know how you would react to them. But they're hoping that, you know, you guys could get along and like find that comfort or can find some sort of in between where you feel comfortable with each other, talking to each other, or you know, whatever, getting a closure, but you feel comfortable with the way that you're going, right? Because they're really hoping for this. Um, with surprise too, it's like they're hoping that, you know, you would actually be the one to pop up and contact them. So what I'm getting here directly is like this person wants to contact you. Will they contact you? That is a maybe. And I'm saying maybe because it's going to take them a very long time because this person is more thinking like, I want you to contact me first. That's what they're feeling. Okay. But it's a maybe because they want you to contact them. And if you feel like this person doesn't want you to contact them at all, then leave it be. Like you don't have to because they will eventually contact you, but they're more so hoping that you would contact them. And if they do contact you as well, like it won't be anything like really romantic or anything but them to just like pop up and be like, "Hey, I see what you're doing. You're looking cool. Things are going great for you. I still see you building your success, building your foundation." happy for you you know kind of like a pop-up like surprise like i'm so happy so that's what i got for you if you chose group two with the selenite crystal if you enjoyed that reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see y'all in the next video bye now all right, so if you have chosen group three with the rose quartz crystal you found your way to your reading so will they contact you Let's figure it out. Okay, so first card here is the Three of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Hermit. And we have the Ace of Cups. Okay. And then for your Gypsy Oracle, we have the Widower. We have a Lover. We have Sweetheart. And we also have Haughtiness. Okay, so will they contact you? I'm seeing like this person could have, okay, first thing I'm getting is this person could have had you in a third party situation. This doesn't have to be another person. It could be work. It could be just, you know, they're prioritizing like other things and just a whole lot, you know, like it could be really anything at all. This person also, if not that, they could be somebody that 
was very adventurous when it came to dating, very adventurous when it came to romance. So it's like they never really had one relationship for too long. You know what I mean? This is somebody that always had a different partner, had like different people around them, even with their friend groups. Like that has always been something that was changing, right? So I'm seeing that this person is needing to find more balance in their life. They've been recognizing the ways that they have been letting things slip like I feel like this person has been so much in that like very adventurous we'll say adventurous personality that they got too caught up in other things and everything outside of themselves so then they're realizing like especially when it came if you can think about like romance for example they would always date somebody that had a lot of abundance or they would always date somebody that you know, they would always date somebody that was better than them, right? So this is somebody that likes to find people that are you know, no more elevated than they are because it's kind of easier that way, you know? Because it's like they can outweigh some resources or something, like maybe when it comes to expenses, they know that they won't have to spend too much on this person or because, you know, you both are making money or something like that. So yeah. That's also just kind of like the type of people that they go for, just people that have a lot of recognition, followers, maybe the person that you are doing this reading on is somebody that likes to be in the center of attention and likes to make sure that, you know, the people that they're with, their friends, their partners are, you know, doing really well. You know, they just want to keep that energy around. But then they also just realized that they can't keep up with that because we have the hermit now. They realized that they needed to really come back to themselves and figure out who they are and who they want to be. Like what is genuine to them? What is something that they want to do? Not what their family expects of them, not what they feel like their friends would expect of them. They're realizing they need to do better and they wanted better. And also with Ace of Cups is like a part of this is having a stable relationship that is long term. I'm seeing three, three, three. So again, this is about making a decision. This is about making a choice. This is when somebody is right about to, you know, come out of their hermit mode, come out of their deep reflection and take something on something new that kind of scares them, but it's going to be best for them emotionally. Again, with widower and lover. So this is somebody getting out of a relationship, you know, a single person, right? They're saying goodbye to a relationship. The lover, this person is coming to somebody with a guitar. So somebody new. So your person is leaving somebody or a situation, a mindset, whatever, coming towards you, the sweetheart here, in hopes that, you know, they could catch your attention. They can, you know get back on your good side. You know, they might even come with to you with some some charm, you know, in their voice or how they speak to you. They might like sweeten up you up with compliments and you're going to be like, "Okay, you're just going to be reading everything." Look at her just reading here. Reading everything and keeping up with it and like, "Okay, I hear this." But with haughtiness, it's like you'll you'll be thinking like, "Hmm, what are you what are you really coming back here for? Is there something that you want from me or expect of me?" You know, but also with this being here, this is about this person's like ego, like, and their pride. Yes, their pride. Um, they want to reach out to you, of course, but they, their pride is like kind of keeping them on the fence here, right? But this is going to happen. So they will contact you within the next three to two months. Um, for some, it will be exactly in September or October. Okay. So that's what I got for you guys. That shows group three with the rose quartz. If you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now.